Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video of mine. I just spent the night at the uh, Ibis Budget Hotel here in Auckland. It was alright, <laughs> nothing special. Anyway, we're back and um, we're back about to fly Qatar Airways for my second ever flight with them. We're flying from Adelaide to Auckland. Sorry, Auckland to Adelaide. I did Adelaide to Auckland yesterday. Auckland to Adelaide in economy class. We're going to compare it to the Q Suite for which we flew yesterday. Obviously it won't be as good. But yeah, so let's go head in, check in until it's flash swap. Let's do this. My journey today begins at Auckland International Airport where I'll depart from the massive international terminal. The check-in hall is massive, and I mean massive. You might struggle to find your airline actually. Qatar Airways offers three options to check yourself in. There is the economy class check-in for people who just want to check in in economy class. Or there is the web check-in for those who've already checked in online and just need to get some documents checked. Or there is the final option, the business class check-in for platinum, gold, silver and business class passengers. That's the quickest of course. With checking out the way, I can now make my way up to the International Departures area and say goodbye to New Zealand for the last time this year. I'm now through security and immigration and can make my way airside. I've just over an hour to crew today before my flight boards, so plenty of time to go look at some planes and check out this terminal. Here is a Qantas A330. I flew on one of those last week in business class. The video is on my channel, make sure that you go check it out. It was soon time to make my way to the gate so I could pull my flight home to Adelaide today. Virgin Australia Golden Platinum Frequent Flight Members to all the aircraft with the priority wing lane. Welcome to the Welcome back on board the Qatar Airways 777. This is business class. I flew it yesterday. I made a full review on their business class Q suites. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Make sure you check it out. It was an amazing experience and you won't regret watching the video and I did not regret flying on the flight. And welcome to economy class in a 343 configuration. It's not actually that uncomfortable despite being in a 343 configuration. However, it might get a bit uncomfortable on a longer flight. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Hello. Oh, what are you? Ah, oh, 40k. 40k, that's it, sir. Thank you. Welcome to my seat today, 40k. I nearly went to the wrong one. Oh, sorry. Thank you. And this is the best view in the sky that I'll have for my flight home to Adelaide today. Qatar Airways 777 Economy Class is laid out in a 343 configuration, which is found on most 777s these days. The Q suites up front have 121 configuration. Qatar Airways have two types of 777s. Let's go over the seat features. There is a pillow on each seat, a TV with some buttons there, a remote control to control it if you want to just sit back and relax in your seat. Some more controls there, such as a USB point and a headphone jack. A tray table that can be folded down from the seat in front and has not one, but two spots for a drink. In the, safe, in the seat pocket there is an air sickness bag and a safety card. There's also two pouches there. I'll use that to put my charges in. The headrest is fully adjustable like so. And the seat can be reclined using that button there. And that'll be my amazing view today over to Adelaide. One of the crew just came around and handed out these headphones. It has been awarded Airline of the Year at the 2022 Skytrax World Airline Awards for the seventh time. The organizers also have received awards for World's Best Business Class, Best Business Class Not Shining, 
and Bev Airline in the Middle East. As you prepare to depart for Adelaide, please ensure that your hand luggage has been placed in over storage compartment or a little seat in front of you. We also ask that you switch your electronic devices and mobile phones to flight mode and continue to observe the passenger seat outside. Smoking is Okay. 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 Long after we left Auckland, a video was played on the Wi-Fi and how you can connect it to all of your devices. Following that, there was also a video played by the Australian government on what you can and cannot bring into Australia. Qatar Airways offers a pretty extensive entertainment system on board the 777. Let's start with the entertainment. It has a good range of movies, from old ones to newer ones. However, I did find that it did miss out on some newer Western movies, which was a bit of a shame to be honest, because most of the flights that this aircraft is doing is around that Australia, Asia, Europe area. 
Anyway, let's look at the flight map. It's really good. It's got some really good features like this one. However, what lets it down is all the ads that's on there. I noticed that the crew had their trolleys out and the meal service was about to begin. So I didn't hesitate in getting my tray table down and ready for the meal service. On this flight today across the Tasman, Qatar Airways offers three meal options. Qantas offers two, as well as Air New Zealand offering two. I went with the beef and mashed potatoes. The meal came with the beef, mashed potatoes and some beans. On the side, there was also a mousse for dessert, as well as a rice salad and a bottle of water. Let's start with the beef. I actually enjoyed the beef quite a lot. It was juicy and full of flavour, and the portion was really good. The beef was extremely tender as well to add. So I enjoyed the beef quite a lot. The meal also comes with some beans. They were cooked to perfection and tasted really nice, although I didn't really eat many of them. And the mash. The mash tasted amazing. Sadly, it was, I could tell that it was pre-made. The meal also comes with a white bread roll. The bread actually tasted really nice. It was really tasty and I used it to soak up some of the remaining flavours on my plate. So overall quite an enjoyable meal today on board Qatar Airways. It has to be one of my favourite economy class meals ever. The rice salad. It tasted alright. I thought it was really good though, adding this to the side of a big meal already. The meal also comes with this bottle of water. And the last thing is this strawberry mousse. It tasted amazing. I thought that it was a good variant in flavours and was a great way to get the beefy taste out of my mouth so that I could enjoy a good taste in my mouth for the rest of the flight. So overall, I thought that the mousse was really nice. Not many airlines offer dessert anymore in economy class, so it was a really good touch to have on this nice meal. The crew came around and offered a second meal because they had too many and the flight was really empty. So this time I opted for the chicken and rice. The chicken tasted really nice. It was so good and so fresh. It was juicy as well. The taste of the paste of the chicken went down well and I extremely enjoyed it a lot. The rice also complemented the dish well. So overall, I enjoyed both my meals on Qatar Airways today. I think in terms of catering, they've smashed both Air New Zealand and Qantas out of the park on these Trans-Tasman routes. I also got a refresher towel after the meal. It was really refreshing, and it reminds me of the same one that I got 24 hours earlier in the Q-Suites. After the meal, the crew also came around and offered a wafer. It was a good way to end a good service from Qatar Airways. I enjoyed the wafer a lot. There were two small ones, and they tasted really, really nice. Welcome to one of the many Qatar Airways 777 economy class lavatories. It's pretty basic, but it's still nice, and it does the job. The sun was slowly setting over the Tasman Sea, so I decided to play some hangman, but sadly I got interrupted by the very good looking 777 wing view. The crew also came around and offered all the passengers some apple juice. I enjoyed it a lot, and I think it's something really good. Most airlines don't do this, and they keep you thirsty. We are now crossing back over the Australian coastline, just over Victoria. So now we know that we are on the home stretch.
the crew also came back around and offered more juice. So as we begin to approach my home of Adelaide, allow me to summarise this flight today on board the Qatar Airways 777. Firstly, the 777 is my favourite aircraft, and to be able to fly into Adelaide is just amazing, something which I never thought I'd be able to do again. My journey started at Auckland Airport, where I was checked in rather quickly, only about a 15 minute wait. When I was airside, I went for a bit of a walk around Auckland Airport. It's really nice, and there's lots of good movements there. On board, I received a very warm welcome and was directed to my favourite seat, 40k, and I nearly went to the wrong one. We pushed back and had an amazing G90 startup and we were soon on our way. The range of entertainment the Qatar Airways offers is decent, although I don't really use the in-flight entertainment. It still looked good though. Both the meals tasted really good, and Qatar Airways really does do their catering well. So overall, I thought that it was a really enjoyable flight with Qatar Airways. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button as it motivates me to keep making more videos just like this one. And it also helps with my YouTube algorithm so it gets my videos more recommended so you can see more of them sooner. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and have a very safe and Merry Christmas to you all. And I'll see you all in the new year.
That's another big trip completed, um, New Zealand, round two for the year. Uh, decent flight with Qatar Airways, it's nice getting two meals, tailwind, dragged on a bit. It's now nine, quarter past nine-ish. I'm gonna go home and edit these videos up because if you haven't already seen my Q-Suite video, um, go check it out. That was one of the best flights I've ever taken. Such an amazing product, I'll leave a link to it down below so you can check it out. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It means the world to me just going, going all these places, making all these videos, and all asking returns just for you to subscribe. Like, you know, it really makes my day seeing that number go up. Anyway, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Thank you very much.